This is a brief update to my previous video about cracking WEP security. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can increase the amount of traffic on a network in order to speed up the traffic capture and allow you to crack the key a lot faster. Now, as you can see on this network, the rate of traffic at the moment is very low. So what we're going to do is use a program called Air Replay to actually rapidly increase the amount of traffic on the network and allow us to crack the key faster. Now I'm actually using a different access point here for this demonstration because not all access points are vulnerable to this type of attack and it doesn't always work. So to get started you just need to open up a new terminal window and type in the first command which is air replay. We're going to use a dash one which is a fake auth attack and then zero is just the time delay so we don't want any delay. Dash a is the BSS ID of the access point that we're attacking. Dash H is the hardware address that we want to spoof for our client. And then dash E is the ESS ID of the access point, which is just the actual name of the Wi-Fi network that you're connected to. Now, if there's any spaces in the name like there are with mine, you actually need to encapsulate it in quote marks. But if there are no spaces, then you don't actually need to do that, but you can anyway. And then the last thing to do is just to add the monitor interface onto the end there and hit enter. Now, as you can see here, AirPlay has actually successfully requested an authentication and then an association with the access point. And as long as you get your little smiley face at the bottom, it basically means that you're ready for step two of the attack. So if you go ahead and type in the command for step two, it's AirPlay again. And this time we're using a dash three, uh, which is an ARP replay attack. Now that we're actually associated with the access point, we can send it packets. Uh, dash B specifies, again, the BSS ID of the access point that we want to attack. Dash H is the hardware address of the client that we're going to spoof from. And then just mon0 for your monitor interface or whatever yours was. And just hit enter again. Now, what AirPlay is currently doing is it's listening for ARP requests and replies on the network. And what it's going to do then is start rebroadcasting those packets back to the access point. And this is actually going to generate legitimate traffic on the network that AeroDump can capture and use towards the cracking of the key. So if we jump back over to AeroDump now, you can see that we've got a new client associated with the access point. This is the original one here at the bottom that's got a very low rate of traffic. And this is our spoof MAC address that, as you can see, has a very high rate of traffic. And what that's doing now is actually driving up our data capture. So where it previously might have taken several hours to get to the 10 to 15,000 packets required to attempt to crack the key, we should actually hit 10 to 15,000 packets now within a matter of minutes, which allows you to greatly speed up the attack and to crack the key. So from this point, you can just carry on with the rest of the tutorial as normal, and you only need to carry out these steps on a network that has a very low data rate or a very low traffic throughput.